Uh, right now we're in front of the uh, well, brewery Heineken Experience. Um, you can go inside and experience everything that has to do with Heineken, like the history, you get to drink beer, and uh, what else? You get to share the magic. Yeah, share the magic with the beer. Meet the beer, share the magic. It's a, it's terrible. Let's brew you. Any idea what it feels like to be brewed and bottled? Discover what it's like in this 4D experience. Enjoy the ride. Then, then there's a Heineken tasting bar. What else? Raised by the world. Creating world of Heineken. Bottle your own Heineken. Innovation station, Heineken Gallery. Well, the simply is just a whole museum marketing Heineken. Heineken. Yeah. Uh, and we also we, we took a look in the uh, shop, and it was like it was a whole shop filled with Heineken marketing stuff. There's Heineken on a towel, Heineken on a block, Heineken on a pen, yeah. Heineken on a hat. Everything. Um, yeah. Good job, Netherlands. Very, yeah, really, really good job. And I'm it's being ironic yeah, right now. This is what it looks like. Looks like on the outside. What they're doing is selling uh, this great fake image fake image that you they say you get when you drink Heineken it's like I, I only thought these things existed but what from what I've learned in like in Africa and you know countries that don't really work like right now and now we're in Holland, in, in the Netherlands, and it's like this here in Europe, like in one of Europe's greatest, not the greatest, but you know what I mean, countries. It's like scary. Anyhow, so now we're here. We're not gonna go inside because it's very expensive, and we thought we got enough information by looking at this. And we talked to one of the um, one in the staff as well, and asked what the purpose was of this, and she said that um, it's a tour around the brewery, and you get to drink beer. Yeah, basically, that's what it is. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, we've been walking all day. I'm so tired. Right before this, I was like standing and shouting at Amanda because I'm so tired and I want water. And we're gonna get water. I want water and I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Moving to the. Uh, and, oh yeah, my my back hurts. Mm -hmm. And we've been to uh, the Ricks Museum. Yeah, looking at some art uh, like Rembrandt and. Uh, I think Monet, not Monet, but of course uh, not. Mon Monet is yeah, French. Yeah, it's French. Uh, Miroir, also. And Vermeer. Yeah. Really beautiful paintings, and it was amazing. I saw this wonderful statue of Cupid as well. Yeah, Amanda said she wanted to buy it. Yeah. One day, <laughs> when she's like a billionaire or something like that. It would be cool to have because it was so beautiful. Yeah, but still, like very fun to have that. Not letting anyone else. Well, see it. it was that's a why joke. It's a, it it was a joke. Yeah, that's why it's in a museum. But right, hi guys. Um, last time we uh, talked or whatever, uh, Amanda's memory card. Uh, uh, it became full, so here we are. Uh, right now we're in the uh, bar downstairs at, from, at our hostel. Um, maybe you should go with random people. Um, sitting here, uh, just put up my computer. Um, we're gonna do some vlogging. You guys, like we're doing right now. And oh yeah, 
um, I was supposed to realize what happened earlier. Um, we were supposed to go to Anne, Anne Frank's house, the place that he, she actually lived in Amsterdam. Uh, there is a cat in her diary. Um, but when we got there, it, it was like a huge, like, I don't know, like 100 people or more, maybe. Probably more decided that like, it's not worth it because, and also, like, the house was all renovated and looked all modern. So, like, that's not the house she lived in. That's some house they wanted him to live in. Um, anyhow, so yeah, and we talked some, to some Americans there and it was like saying the same thing to us. Um, and then what? Then we decided to like walk somewhere else to the Riggs Museum. Yeah, we've been to the Riggs Museum, like I said earlier. And um, we've been out walking for about like five hours a day and it's been 31 degrees. So it's been very hot and it's been hard to find any shadows. And earlier I was like, I was pissed. I wanted water, I needed food. And now we're eating and we ate some ravioli as usual. And for ice cream, we yeah. had ice cream. And then, then for dessert, we ate some Ben and Jerry's. Low fat Ben and Jerry's. They actually have low fat Ben and Jerry's. It was in, delicious. Yeah, here in the uh, Netherlands. We think we have that in Sweden. It's just like, I want that. Yeah, low fat. It didn't even say low fat, so that was awesome. Uh, it was chocolate fudge brownie. Tasty. Okay, so we thought we'd show you on the map how we've been walking today. Yeah, just been walking a lot. Alright, where do you live? We live here, right? Yeah. And then we walked all the way over to this place. It's a church and it's Anne Frank's house. Yeah. Then we walked. I think we walked this way, right? No, that way. That way? So we went by. Um, I didn't think that would work. Okay. Yeah, well, anyway, we walked that big street. And then here's the Rex Museum. That's where we went, and then we went Heineken Experience. Yeah. Then we went back, probably like this way, yeah. all the way back, and up here, back home. Yeah, it's the so it's like all around Amsterdam. It it was a very long walk and it was exhausting, but yeah. we did it. Yeah, we did it. And like I said before, I hope you burn, I think I burned like some calories, but then she said, I don't think we have, so <laughs> I like one to strangle her, but then we ate some ice cream, so yeah, but I think we would have eaten ice cream anyway, so I guess that's the way to make up for it. Um, yeah. Well, well that's it for today yeah i think uh, so tomorrow it's sunday and it's the finals in the soccer finals and holland is playing spain and you know we're in amsterdam so it's gonna be crazy yeah it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be exciting there's a lot of people here um so yeah i'm really looking forward to it probably gonna watch the game from sports bar I hope we will go to that big, big screen in near the Rees Museum. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be the world's largest. Yeah, or maybe do that. Uh, they they told us about like over hundred thousand people gonna be there. So yeah, it's gonna be party. Um, okay, so that's all today. See you tomorrow. Bye.